Okay, this is uh, just a little update on what I'm working on at the moment. This is something I've been on off working, thinking about doing sort of for the past, oh, I don't know, couple of years. And I've always sort of, oh, sorry, let me, let me get this sorted. And I've always sort of held off and done it piecemeal bit by bit. And uh, what spurred me on was something I saw that was about these. These are 3150-900kV motors. I think you can see it there. And got these from AliExpress. They seem to be quite decent build. And I've got four of them. Obviously, quads, four. And, uh, yeah, these can turn a 10-inch prop no problem at all. They're, they're nice and chunky. They've got a screw-in bottom here. So they're decent quality, not a circlip. And they were like £12 each. This is because this particular size is well favoured for carrying, well, what should we say, surprise packages to other people in other trenches so these are getting me made getting made a lot and so they're very very cheap on discount because basically there's so many being made at the moment and going on one-way trips so with that i've got these these are carbon fiber tubes i believe they're portrayed don't get fooled by the wrapping but they're really 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 stiff 15 mil is it 15 10 mil 12 mil anyway really nice carbon tubes i bought two packs of these i actually bought them this was the thing i first bought about two years ago and after that i've got these these are very nice clamps for that these are all aluminium and recently I've got four of these thank you Hobby RC for a good price speed and these are 50 amp cloud Phoenix 50 amp uh, optical ESC's so you, I'm, I'm sure you've already worked out where this is going and then on top of that, over here, I've got this. Aluminium, very nice, really made. So we've got blue and red. Couldn't get them in blue. Thank you, fan. I've got these, which clamp on the end of them. So basically, this is the start of a rather chunky 10-inch, maybe 12-inch prop. If it's 12 inch, I'm probably going to have to change the motors again and the ESCs. But at the moment, it's going to be a 10 inch uh, quad. And I've got four of them, of course. Through the magic of buying four. So what's missing here? Obviously, a, a flight controller. I've got the ESCs for the motors. I've got the... I've got the arms and I've got the bits on the end of the arms that actually you mount the motor on the top and you mount the ESC underneath so and then you can run the cables out through the tube so it'll be pretty neat quite a neat uh, build but what I'm missing here is the bit in the middle that clamps everything together and that's what my problem has been that's holding me back because for some reason, I can't. I, I've been struggling to get my health, my head, around uh, CAD programs. This is my frame design. Let's do an edit on on shape. And this is for a top plate. I'm actually going to cut to top and bottom plate. It's got point room in the middle for a flight controller. These are the clamps full of tubes these are clamp holes 
if I want to reuse this for carrying batteries and things. And so, uh, once I've got this perfected, I shall send it to PCB Way and have it cut in carbon fibre. But, how do I know it's going to be right? That's where the next thing comes in. This is my, I think it's supposed to be 20 watt, but it basically, it's a laser cutter with bed and everything. I have tested it. Seems to work, seems to work okay. So what I'm gonna do is cut the frame in plywood to check fitting and everything. And once I, I'm happy with the fitting and everything, I'll send it off to PCB Way to be cut in carbon fiber. That way I'm not wasting money. Oh, by the way, look, the hanger is full of toys. Batman still exists. Others over here. So many planes. More on the wall. So many. And there's still two upstairs as well. Oh, and one here. Because why not? So that's what I'm working on at the moment. And of course, now I've decided, I haven't decided exactly what this final thing will look like. It could be like a sort of mini X-Class type quad. You know, sort of traditional X-plane, just land on the batteries. Or I might use these, which are servo-controlled legs. So they basically, they start up like this and then when you operate them through the... The servo they go down like that sort of thing and you can land so you've got retractable lens legs i may use them in which case it will be more more sedate flying i i would guess and then the other thing that i've got to start i've got to start this i need to get this built ready for the winter season so I can fly indoors. So, what I would like in the comments are sedate or X-class, so I know whether to put the legs on or not, and uh, what you think of my design so far. I'm pretty pleased with that. I've never really used CAD programming before. And I'm sure I'm not using it correctly, but I've got all the measurements I need and everything's in place accurately. So hopefully this will make a nice quadcopter. <laughs>